Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Darkers 24 7 production. Now, today we have a live con for you because we are going to be starting up another player franchise. Now, we did a free safety, a strong safety, excuse me. We did a strong safety, and he was a prototypical strong safety, and I just picked the wrong roster. So, we're going to have to do this up. All right, let's do this up. So we're going to make sure we pick the right rosters. But again, I picked a strong safety, and um, he's prototypical, plays for the Bears, and that was post-commentary. That was, I played it, and then I did the commentary for it. But this is going to be live comment. All the other videos for him, for Jeffrey Dawkins, the strong safety for the Bears, will be live com as well. So hopefully, we can get some nice reactions from me. Now, anyways, man, this one's going to be on the offensive side of the ball. I seen people do quarterback, so I'm not gonna do a quarterback. I did a quarterback last year with Jeffrey Dawkins, so I turned into a strong safety this year. Not gonna do running back. I seen people do running backs and stuff like that, so I'm gonna do a receiver. Now, I was debating which one I should do. You know what I mean? Possession receiver. That's usually a big guy. You know, if I can think of somebody off the top of my head like Keyshawn Johnson, you know, a red zone threat would be like a Plexico Burris type of receiver. You know, route runner. For me, that that's like a Keisha. I'm not Keyshawn Johnson. His cousin, Chad Johnson, aka Ocho Cinco. You know what I mean? A speed guy like those little guys, Santana Moss, back in his prime when he was at the U. You know what I mean? Guys like that. Balance will be like these big guys that you have now. So we're gonna go with a balance receiver or a possession one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I already know what team I'm gonna go with. So I kind of wanna be the opposite of what they already have. So let's go with a big time possession receiver. This guy's gonna be pretty big. He's gonna be a pretty big guy. He's a first round pick, and he's gonna be wow third receiver for the Bears. That's not good. Third receiver for the Bengals. That that's not good either. For the Bills. Wow. Um, I already had a team lined up, but if, if he can't start on those, those other teams, maybe he can't start on a team already picked for him. But we're, but we're gonna find out. He will be fourth on the nines. You know that's bad. <laughs> you know that's bad. So. Everywhere he goes, he's around a 78. Wow, he would be an 81 overall receiver with the Lions. Maybe play alongside Calvin Johnson. Mm -hmm. Dynamic duo right there. But I was thinking about putting him on the Steelers. And that's exactly what I wanted. So the Steelers, they don't have the best receiving core. And no, I did not check it out. I was, I was planning in my head what type of team I wanted to go to. So, the Steelers, I think, is an excellent fit. You see, they have Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown is a smaller guy, one of those quick, fast guys. There's Harold Bay. You can't trust over the middle. He ain't going to catch nothing. And Lance Moore is another small receiver. You know what I mean? So, I know that, you know, I know that the old uh, offensive coordinator, Bruce Arians, is now the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. He actually liked those smaller receivers. But I feel like a bigger guy might help this offense out because only real kind of in the middle type of receiver that they have is that tight end Heath Miller you know what I mean Heath Miller one of the best tight ends you know in the league in the past like decade you know what I mean his talents have kind of you know tapered off but he's never been a guy that that wowed you with his athleticism and stuff like that so we're definitely gonna go with the Steelers and then hopefully hopefully wow this dude look ghetto as heck man I'm looking ghetto wow wow yeah all right <laughs> so I don't have a name for him yet. So we're just going to go with Dawkins. And as I do this commentary, we're going to come up with a name. So last name is definitely going to be Dawkins. You know what I'm saying? Got love for my last name. And everybody else has a last name like Dawkins. We are awesome people. Just awesome, fantastic people. And again, position wide receiver. Can't wear 12 because that number's retired in real life. So not going to wear 12. I believe Lynn Swan wore 88. I believe so. That number's gone to 86. That's Hines Ward. So we can't wear that 80. Like Plessico Burris. That's the only one available to us, then that's the one we're taking. But is that the one? We got 18 too. My man AJ Green and 12. Like AJ. Nah, man, let's go with 80. J Rice was my favorite play growing up, so we can go with J Rice. We can go with J Rice. So 6'4. I want to be a little bigger. I want to be like 225. There we go. There we go. That looks like a possession wide receiver right there. All right. No, we can actually keep that. He kind of looked like, he, he looked like, um, what's his name? Jones from the, um, from the, uh, Ravens, so we gotta change that face. No, no, no twins. No twins. Um, he kind of looked like me. Not really. These people. No, no. Should I give him dreads? No, nah, no dreads. Clean cut over here. Clean cut. Um, you man, nobody be able to see you. <laughs> My goodness. Um, I uh, this one. Boom. Fifty three. 
Go on phase 53. Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, all right. So we're going to hook up my man's equipment. He kind of already looks kind of stubby. I like it. I like it. I like it, but yeah. But no. I got to put my own twist on things. Put my own twist on things. We'll be rocking. I always like going with the air helmets. So we're rocking the little air helmet. You know what I mean? And what type of... I don't want to give this guy a visor only because Jeffrey's rocking a visor. So I don't want to give this guy a visor. We'll give him... You know what? We can give him that old T.O. face mask. Old T.O. face mask. And he's kind of already set up. He's kind of already set up. But we'll give him some wristbands. We'll give him wristbands. Black, like my man T.O. used to wear. Um, second. No, left hand. Should we keep the yellow? You guys like the yellow? I kind of like to have a different color in there. So we can find yellow with like a different color in it too. So it's not like all. Like I kind of like that. You know, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Alrighty, man. So looking pretty good. I think he's looking good. We will need a hand warmer because you know it's going to be cold. You know it's going to be cold in freaking Pittsburgh. So let's give him some hand warmers. Where are they at? Boom, right there. Now, in the in the one I did earlier with Jeffrey, we gave him Under Armour. We can go with the Nikes in this one. We can give him Nikes. He likes that. You saw him kick his leg. He likes it. He likes it. All right. I kind of want to give him a visor. I don't know. You know what? I think we will give him a visor. I think we're going to change up the helmet, too. I like that face mask, though. That's that T.O. Marvin Harrison one. But, yeah, we'll go with it. We're probably going to change it. We Not probably. We will change it up throughout the year. Give him different looks throughout the year and stuff like that. Probably won't mess, mess with the number. But that's it. He's 79 overall. And we're going to do the first preseason game. First preseason game. It's going to be on all Madden. But game speed is going to be slow just because I feel like we get better animations. And let's hop right into it. And hopefully, hopefully, I messed up. I messed up in the first one I did with Jeffrey. We didn't get to do any of the drills. That sucked. So hopefully, I figure out how to do the drills because I want to, you know, do some drills and stuff like that. Because I haven't tested out the camera angle from the wide receiver perspective at all. So hopefully, you know, we can get it in. Now, I know I said I was going to give you guys a preseason in this video, but this video is getting kind of long. We're just going to make this the creation video, and then the first training camp, and then preseason will be next video, and then the video after that, we'll just knock out the rest of the preseason. So this one, we're going to call it a quits right here. The video is getting kind of long. So I wanted to give you guys everything in one video, but I don't think you guys will enjoy that. So we're going to make this one a little bit shorter, and then the next video, we'll get the preseason and one training camp, and then the next video after that, we'll do all three preseason games. So that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace.